Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Ligneter's uh, Sword and Buckler Clay number one uh, as applied to Sword and Shield. Okay? Um, I started off with four and five because they were pretty straightforward. It makes no difference really if you're using a, a buckler or, or a full size shield. Um, with number one, we're going to start seeing uh, some possible variation, some things that you know uh, that need to be done with the buckler that perhaps we can bypass with a full size shield. Okay? So the play goes like this: uh, He tells us basically it, we start with an overhaul, which is an overhand cut. Um, you know, basically the zornhaul that I've talked about in prior videos. So we start with a overhaul thrust. He then tells us to wind against the sword, basically putting the strong of our sword against the weak of his blade, and then he says to snap over, okay? Um, the snap over, what does that mean? He doesn't name a particular cut. You know, he basically tells us that from the wind, we're gonna snap over, basically some type of a Molinet, some type of a rotational cut. You know, that, that can be a, a Zwerge how, that can be some kind of a Kroom cut, right, a, a Kroom how. Okay, it could be a strut how, you know, with the back edge pointing down. Um, you could substitute any one of those cuts uh, for that shot that's going to snap over. Okay, uh, so one more time, we got the overhaul, thrust, wind, snap over. Okay, um, let me execute this now with the buckler, and we can talk about some of the differences. It, with the buckler, when I execute this, the main difference is I have to wind. Uh, because I have such a small defense here, you know, when I do overhaul thrust, I have to wind because I need to control that blade. I can't come off this blade until I attack. So I want to maintain as much control of this blade. Okay, this, this pole here represents my opponent's sword. I need to con maintain as much control of this sword until the l very last second when I'm about to attack. So, overhaul, right? and he says to keep it tight. He says to keep the thumb against the buckler. So, overhaul, thrust, wind, and the snap overcut, okay? Um, so, so, with the buckler, we have to wind. With the full-size shield, we can feel. The difference with the full size shield is that we can bypass the wind because the shield gives us that extra coverage. So basically, that I got that overhaul that controls the blade, thrust, okay. Um, you know, I can wind and do that, but I also have a shield that's giving me pretty good defense. So I can uh, uh, cut, thrust, and then just, you know, if I have a heavy sword like a Type X, I can just come around my head and make my cut. So if I was using um, if I was using like a Type X sword, yeah, let me go get a Type X sword. I'll show you guys. Okay, so I'm back. I now have a Type X sword, uh, very popular through the Middle Ages, uh, you know, used by the Normans all the way up through the Crusaders. With this type of a sword, it's a lot more blade heavy. You can't base it's, it's hard to go from there to there. It takes a lot of effort with, with a heavier sword like this. I basically need to do a big rotation, um, you know, to power this sword. I have to use hips, I have to use, you know, big rotational cuts in order to power this. So, with this type of the sword, um, I'm going to not spend too much time on his blade because it's very tiring to sit out here and hold this sword out here. And, you know, and I'm not going to have very good point control. Um, so, with this sword, I'm going to basically make my cut thrust okay then come around and make that you know make that cut to the other side okay so i'm not i'm going to bypass the winding step because i have the defense of the shield to protect me from that blade and in that you know in that step i'm going to make that large rotational cut so one more time that overhaul thrust and then make that make that zwerch how uh, Zorosha would probably be the easiest thing to do from there, although it could be a, a plunging cut, you know, it, it could be a, a wicker how. There's a lot of cuts that we can go here, go uh, that we can make from there. But the important thing to understand uh, and to draw out of this is what we're doing is we're, we're threatening left, 
so we can attack right okay that's the overall strategy here um and and the strategy is more important than the particular cut and you know and how we get from one side to the other you know or rather the steps in between getting from one side to the other you know whatever it takes to keep their you know keep their defense on that side so we can then attack that side um, if you have any questions or comments, please post it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a member, please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.